Here we have it, folks. We have the new mid-tier LG Stylo 6. LG stepping its game up once again with a new release for its Stylo mid-tier series. Yes, we have three cameras in the back, a beautiful white rainbow color, a lovely fingerprint sensor, and of course, a bigger than ever screen on their mid-tier device. Let's take a look at it. LG has come back with a new mid-tier device, the LG Stylo 6. And let me tell you, immediately feeling this phone in my hand, it does feel different. It does feel like it's a different device than their other mid-tier devices, like the Stylo 5. Let's start. It's already a taller device than the Stylo 5. We have a much taller display. We have now a 6.8 inch display with a teardrop notch. It's almost top down to bottom all screen. You do have that chin, this small little layer of black on the bottom that makes this not completely bezel-less. It is a beautiful display it is full HD we're talking your 1080p resolution we're talking a 6.8 inch display so it is much bigger than the style 5 which was 6.2 inches in the past it does feel heavier as well we're talking about a little bit of a heavier hold it is more square it is a little bit of a rectangle we do have those beautiful cameras in the back you now have a beautiful triple camera system in the back we're gonna go over specs shortly you do have that beautiful speaker in the bottom type C is Back, and we do still have that headphone jack that's gonna get you connected to your headphones. You do have that stylus which works wonderfully and has been somewhat redesigned. We now have the same click type stylus but this stylus is cute because now we have a little ball which isn't too plastic. It's actually kind of coily. It feels super super nice to write on the screen with. What are we getting with the Stylo 6, this next generation mid-tier model from LG? Let's look at it. We have a LG Stylo 6 with a larger than life display. We're talking about 6.8 inch Full HD Plus display. That's gonna give you the most beautiful content on a mid-tier device. Beautiful, beautiful display. On top of the display, we have a triple rear camera that brings photos to life, set the world through three lenses. We're talking about a 13 megapixel camera, which keeps fast photos moving blur free. This is an example. We also have the five megapixel, 120 degree ultra wide, which gives you a bigger picture with the same device and a standout while staying in focus. Very, very much like portrait mode on other devices. This is a beautiful camera system on a mid-tier system. It's gonna, gonna cost you not too much money. Talk about a selfie camera. Yes, we do have that teardrop notch with that camera at the top. Selfie camera is going to give you the selfie pictures that you love. Selfie camera does come with 13 megapixels as well. It's one of the highest megapixel cameras in the front. You have that built-in stylus as mentioned earlier, where you could doodle, where you could take notes. You could create savable memos on the go. Send next level text with your stylus. This is a really cool feature where you could actually just write it with your stylus and it texts as you write. And you turn simple stylus strokes into colorful work of art. LG makes it easy for you to be creative with this phone. We have the music life. Check these speakers out, folks. With the new stereo speakers and DCS 3D sound. Check it out. Stunning sound. You have a really good speaker at the bottom that's gonna give you an incredible 3D-like sound experience on a mid-tier device. Larger than life performance. We're talking about a device with an octa-core processor and a 4,000 milliamp battery, up from the 3,500 that you witnessed on the Stylo 5. Memory, 64 gigabytes. So you have double the storage that you had in other mid-tier devices like the Stylo 5. And if we go straight into the specs, let's talk about it. As we mentioned, the display, 6.8 inches, full HD. We have cameras, we have a 13 megapixel main rear camera, we have a 5 megapixel wide camera, and a 5 megapixel camera that's gonna be good for focusing shots and giving you that panorama mode. We do have that flash in the back as expected. Running Android 10.0, one of the latest Android operating systems here at 2020. Processor is a MediaTek Helio P35 processor, which is gonna give you 2.3 gigahertz. A little bit faster of a processor, octa-core than the Stylo 5, so you should experience a slightly faster experience. That battery life is 4,000 milliamps. It's gonna give you a, a lot of time with the battery. Three gigs of RAM, 64 gig gigabytes of storage with an expandable micro SD. It is an LTE device, not 5G quite yet, but we do have that size being a little bigger and the weight being a little heavier. 
Well, that's it. That's the Stylo 6, folks. Let's explore. You have the option of adding an app door there. You could add that, or you could keep it simple. It's a good phone for anyone that's looking for a simple Android experience that isn't too harsh, too advanced, and you want everything to just be there. You want it to be not too much of a slow experience. It doesn't have to be the latest and greatest technology. Here we have it, the Stylo 6. Do I recommend this phone as a mid-tier? I definitely do. LG does also have an incredible entry model, the LG K51, that I do have a video up about as well on my channel. If you want to check that out, go ahead and do that. But the LG Stylo 6 is definitely a great buy as it's marketed right now prices anywhere from 200 to 260 bucks in the u.s market right now sprint and t-mobile's carrying it and other carriers are carrying it as well i'm sure make sure that you do subscribe let me know what you think will this be a device you get in the future let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for your time have a great and wonderful day